Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Tonight, let's do another pizza pan sign redo. So this is the stuff I use. Let's get started. Um, so the first thing I did was start with a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree, and I just cover it with regular old Mod Podge. Um, I do the bottom, the sides, the top, just don't do the back. After I have it covered, I take a piece of fabric that I got also at the Dollar Tree, and I just smooth it out on top of the... Um, the Mod Podge. Now, I would probably encourage you to iron your fabric because it'll just make it so much easier, but if you don't, that's okay too. I'm not super worried about the inside, like the center, but I am worried about the edges. So I just go over with Mod Podge, and this is what it looks like after it's dry completely. And then I just go around and cut the um, excess fabric off. And when I do that, I tilt or angle my scissors towards the front of the um, pan and go around all the way around as close to the edge as I can. And this is what it looks like when I'm done. Then I take one of these cool vinyl placemats. This one says, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. I love it. So I just cut it into a circle. Again, I'm not even worried about it being perfect. And there were a couple of pieces that had some just little lemons that I cut out just the lemons. I didn't even cut out the leaf part. Then um, on the back of that, I put some Mod Podge. Now you could also do a glue gun and glue it that way. Either way is fine. Just adhere it to your, um, what's that called? Words are hard. <laughs> Pizza van. All right. Then I take my hot glue gun and some big jute from the Dollar Tree as well. I guess you could call it rope. Um, and I just glue it all the way around. See how it wasn't that big of a deal to have um, the circle be perfect because the jute rope is going to cover that. So I'm not worried about it. So you go all the way around the edges and glue on the jute rope. Yay. Super easy, but it does take a hot minute. That's fine. Then when you get to the very top, I cut off the excess and glue it down. Make sure that the edges meet. And again, I'm not worried if they don't because I could just put a bow there or some other embellishment. So it's not that big of a deal. So that's what that looks like. Hooray. All right. Then I made a messy bow. Um, you've seen me make those before. Super easy. And I actually used towels. <laughs> some of the fabric in there, that blue fabric is a towel. Then I take those two little lemons that I cut out of the vinyl mat and I just glued them on. You know, if you have a place that has an embellishment, not an embellishment, if you have a place that is a like a mistake, you can cover up a mistake that way. All right, then I mark out where I want my holes for my sign and I use my crocodile to pop holes in it. You could just um, glue the jute on, but I had the crocodile, so why not? I knotted the ends and do the same on the other side. And then I cut the excess and um, what I actually do with the excess once I cut it off is I actually like, um, what's it like, pounce my finger on the jute on the end and it just makes it flare out a little bit and give it a little bit of a distressed vibe and, you know, just makes it look cute, I guess. Anyways, that's it, friends. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you'll try. Don't forget to follow for more fun.